Hi, yeah, and welcome to January's q and I've been asked by Tony, hi Tony, what are my top 10 books that are must-reads for entrepreneurs who really want to expand their horizons and develop their businesses? Well, 10's really, really difficult actually, Tony. I've got a library over there which is like that big. Um, so I think I've managed to um, put it down to 11, but I've put a longer list of must-reads underneath it. It's the best I can do. So hard to choose. Um, so pen at the ready, everybody. If you need your reading list for 2016, then this is a good place to start. So for fun, may I suggest um, there's a new book out by the Brewdog Crew, Business for Punks, not just for real ale enthusiasts. It's a reverent with great lessons, actually, particularly in building loyal tribes, great ideas on financing and a few good habits for prudent business building too. Love these guys. Um, I've actually bought some shares to study their business model um, and I um, suggest you do too. Um, then there's this other one, I think it's called like The Psychopath's Guide to Business, which is by Andy McNabb and another guy, um, which is actually surprisingly valid lessons in business but quite funny, um, like making decisions based on facts, not allowing emotions or empathy to sway your opinion, which actually ends up statistically being a better result and um, yeah, it's a worthy and entertaining read. Um, so on the more sort of personal development side of things, um, there's a really good book um, by a guy called Debate called The Art of Thinking Clearly and it assists you to make better decisions with this handbook on understanding how and why we make decisions. And then I love The Chimp Paradox by a guy called Dr. Steve Peters. Just read it. It's enormous insight into how our brain works and how to op optimise your personal performance. Um, on scaling the business, um, Ready, Fire, Aim by Mike Masterton has um, been a really good one for me. It's reminded me I need to reread this actually. Great for startups um, and at the plus 10 million level and the 100 million level. So it helps you get through those three key phases of business growth. Um, and now these are these are like the essential life changes. These are the books that made seismic shifts in my way of thinking. Um, proper classic, rich dad, poor dad, life changer for me, really outline what kind of business I wanted to own and what a busy fool I actually was acting as a consultant or doer when I should have actually been building a business with a value and an income regardless of the hours I worked. Um, another proper great one for me was Will It Make the Boat Go Faster? If you haven't heard me recommend this, then you haven't been listening um, because everybody knows this is like the mantra for my business. Um, it's a book by Ben Hunt Davis and it's about focusing on that one goal and the importance of the recruitment of the right team. Um, the E-Myth, that was a really transformational book for me. Thailand, 2011, read this book, came home, started the thought process of my franchise model, all about the systems and processes and standardization of your business and how to scale it. Uh, I've got to throw in a few classics. Obviously, there's Think and Grow Rich, Golden Oldie, and I think it's like 13 steps that the majority of successful, like really successful entrepreneurs emulate to achieve billionaire type work. Classic, but great. Um, there's a book by Sir John Harvey Jones called All Together Now. It's this book, or actually the series, that I saw when I was 15 that made me decide I wanted to do this. So you can blame the late, great Sir John for me. Um, really good lessons for everybody. And this is my 11, I know it's a bonus one. Um, 88 The Narrow Road uh, by Felix Dennis. It's a few salutary lessons from the late, great Mr. Dennis. Worth reading for any budding entrepreneur to see if you have what it takes to make it on the narrow road of entrepreneurialism. Um, I reckon reading is an central part of learning. I sustain my 52 books a year, sustained it last year, which include fiction, really important to sustain your creativity too. Um, don't make any excuses, find time every day to read or listen to audiobooks on your way to and from work and make it part of your routine. And don't forget to keep your business library so that you can refer back to them, lend them to friends and turn over the corners, mark them and annotate the books, circling and summarising the key learnings. Because um, I've just started to reread them and these annotations gives me a shortcut to finding the real insight and you can see what you've applied and actually what I've plain forgotten to do. Um, so happy reading, Tony. I trust this helps and good luck with your reading list for January. See you soon.